There have been a number of uh, instances that I would call affirming or miraculous. There was a number that we had to cut out because no one would believe it. I'm Steve Armour. I wrote the script for All Saints. Um, if you look over here behind us, you'll see that uh, we're setting up for a shot. Uh, and this is an event that actually happened on the day that they planted. Uh, it was a very sunny day, but they got a little rain shower at the end of the day, which you know always helps whenever you're planting seeds. And it helped them feel that what they were doing was something that was blessed by God. It seems silly to say as a priest, but I am a great believer in the power of prayer. Uh, and I will not be convinced otherwise that God doesn't answer prayers. He does answer prayer. Everything that was ever provided for us was in answer to prayer. When we needed a water tank, we prayed that the Lord would provide this water tank. And boy, did he. Uh, in the most miraculous fashion. I don't know how you couldn't be a person of faith once you hear this story. It's, it's phenomenal. We had determined to help make the irrigation easier on the farm. We needed a, a thousand gallon water tank mounted on a trailer with a pump on it. We did not have the money to purchase such a thing. It was going to be over $3,000. Amy and I went up on a hike up at Fire Gizzard State Park and other than one other car in the parking lot, there was nobody else in this park. And about an hour into the hike, we met a couple. Mrs. Harlow and her husband, Jess, are great characters in this film because they are ones who just appear, seemingly God-given couple who comes in and supplies just what they need just in time to save the fields. So it's, it's a pivotal moment. And I told Amy, please do not speak to these people. I don't want to talk to anybody. I was running away from my responsibilities here, from the farm, from the church. We had created a rule. We were not to speak about these things on our hike that day. And of course, you can't, Amy will not, not speak to anybody. So. As we approached, she started asking about their baby and how old was the baby and oh, what a beautiful baby. And, and I was just sitting there going, oh, why me? But out of politeness, I struck up a conversation with this farmer. And it turned out we knew people in common. And he told me, you know, our, as my farm has grown, we have equipment that we've outgrown. And, isn't useful to me anymore. And if we have anything you need, you're welcome to it. And I said, we do need something. We need a thousand gallon water tank mounted on a trailer with a pump. And he said, I have a thousand gallon water tank mounted on a trailer with a pump. And you can have it. The obligation of our faith is to try to help the people who need help and also to accept the help when people, when it's offered. Sometimes we think things are impossible in our lives and based on what we see as, you know, human beings. But, but God sees everything. He knows yesterday, today, tomorrow. He knows what we need. Usually, when we think we're out of time, it can't possibly happen, boom. Here I was in the middle of nowhere. And God provides not just something we need, the exact thing we need. And you will never, ever, ever convince me that God is not present and active in the world and answers prayer to the nth degree that you need it answered. And Christians should expect this from God. If we just cooperate, we probably see it more often. 